Call me biased, but when you think bagel, you think New York. And it's not just one particular place. Actually, where is the best bagel? Utopia Bagels. 3rd Avenue and 93rd Street. Tall Bagels. I do like the place up this block, actually. It's pretty good. Millions of New Yorkers grew up with authentic handmade bagels thanks to a rich history with many origin theories. Some say it's a descendant of the German pretzel, while others refer to a story of a baked tribute to the Polish king in the shape of a horse's stirrup. There's also record of anti-Semitism and limits on the Jewish population of Poland and what they could or couldn't sell. The Yiddish term for bagel is... Bagel. While in Polish, it's... Bagel. And that's who brought it to us. The bagel arrived in the U.S. with Jewish immigrants from Poland in the late 19th century, and a thriving business developed in New York City. An iconic Jewish delicacy that tells an immigrant story through one simple food. Since then, bagels have gone through many iterations. You have the flagel, the crisps, gluten-free, vegan. But no matter the different types, to me, they've always been an East Coast thing. Until this happened. The New York Times put out this report. The best bagels are in California. I was so mad about this. I traveled to California to see what the heck these people are thinking. Starting with Zach from Pop's Bagels, who was featured in the article. We literally, we ship our bagels to New York. What? Yeah. Pop's Bagels started in 2017. My grandfather, who I called Pop, he uh, was born and raised in Brooklyn, big Brooklyn guy. What's so great about the New York bagel really is that how fresh they always are. They're always just pumping them out constantly. Right. So there wasn't really anything like that in LA. I thought that the New York bagels needed to be put on notice a little bit. Okay. So we started uh, doing it a little bit differently. Okay, our, our bagel is a little bit lighter. Like we tried to do like our own style again was like open face. We slowed it down a little bit and we sprinkled some seeds on top. It comes down to just the recipe. Well, if it comes down to just the recipe, I had to find out what the people of California thought. Who's got the better bagels? Who's got the better bread? I'm gonna go with LA. LA. New York. In LA you say that? I'm from New York, so. Woo! Wow. New York. London. London? No, that's not even in the running, sir. Sorry. New York. Wow. <laughs> New York, for sure. Feels more custom to New York rather than LA. Um, I'm biased, but I'm gonna say LA. Have you had the bagel chat yet? Because it sounds like you disagree. This is as heavy as politics, yeah. All right, now that I was done causing awkward pillow talk, I had to chat with a baking expert, author of New York Times best-selling Jewish, a cookbook, and a New Yorker himself, Jake Cohen. At the end of the day, I think I have a lot of feelings when it comes to bagels and what makes good bagels. And there's this like conversation around like the water, like the best bagels are in New York because of the water. And I don't necessarily think that that's true. You get great bagels in New York because that's where there are a lot of Jews and it is a Jewish food that was brought over by Polish Jews. Fair to say then that that history could be fulfilled and used anywhere in the country for a good bagel. It's just gonna come down to like, Wherever these communities pop up and start really putting in the effort to make great bagels, um, God bless. Jake really brought it full circle. Maybe the answer is good bagels could technically be anywhere. What do you think? One thing's for sure. Don't ask New Yorkers if anyone else does it better. We have the best bagels. Love it. Enough said.